laying the groundwork for a healthier Philadelphia. Woo! Now when it goes down there, I'll decompose. <laughs> Volunteers carve time out to dig in, a way to celebrate Earth Day by brightening up parts of the city, including North Broad, where nonprofit North Broad Renaissance used Earth Day to start their landscaping season. Which aims to bring awareness to the value of green space in urban communities and also the importance of maintaining open and green spaces throughout Philadelphia. These volunteers focused on North Broad's dozens of planting beds. Starting the process of what I like to say, making it pretty. From Philly's streets to Philly's parks. Wissahickon Valley Park got some TLC. Thanks to friends of the Wissahickon. Doing your part in the, you know, helping the environment. Bringing together hundreds of volunteers. Every day is Earth Day. Here at Wissahickon, when they say every day is Earth Day, they mean it. They do work like this year round, and they've been doing it for a century now. So there's been a long legacy of private volunteers helping in this public space. This Earth Day cleanup doubled as a 100th anniversary celebration, carrying on a strong tradition of stewardship. Clearing storm drains, pulling invasive vines. This mother and daughter pair from South Jersey thought it was the perfect way to help. We only have one planet, we have to take care of it. Organizers say this kind of work really does have an impact on everything from the health of the trees to the water we drink, hoping others will feel encouraged to do their part on Earth Day and beyond. Even if it's just taking a trash bag with you when you go out for a hike, picking up some trash, taking that home, every bit makes a difference. Hey. Siobhan McGurl, NBC 10 News.